All right, this video is going to be clips of Adam22 and Lena the Plug uh, being creepy weirdos. And we're going to start with this. In the first clip, we have Adam talking about his new disease he got from his profession. Adam came down with a little something. There's a thing that's taken the industry by storm. It's called microplasma. A ton of people in the industry have gotten it because it's like they don't test for it. So it's like now... Broke bitches are not going to be able to do this shit a couple times a month. Whereas people who actually are doing well in the business are able to. So, like, if I hadn't had it, I wouldn't be taking it so serious. And then the problem is, is that next time we shoot, are we going to just get it again because the fucking testing sucks? And I think most people, myself included, are pretty happy with the, the state of testing. And now we got microplasms. HIV. But to be honest, like STD outbreaks in the porn industry are pretty rare. And there's a thing that's taken the industry by storm. It's called microplasma. So this next clip is Adam talking with Sky Bree about her ex-boyfriend getting upset about her being on Plug Talk. And he just seems really creepy and starts like drilling her with questions about her ex-boyfriend. And just seems like he's getting a lot of gratification out of this interview. Because he's an alleged deranged sex lunatic. Picture how awkward this is for me. Lena's, you know, like sick at the time or whatever. The, the baby's super young. So she's in like mega mom mode, feeling like insanely like not hot every second of the day, right? And then I come home and I'm like, listen, I met this girl. She's super young and I think that we got we to gotta fuck with her. Okay. It's not an easy conversation to have with your girl who's got like a brand new fucking baby, right? But... It actually ended up working out because you had a boyfriend. I did, yeah. When you came on the Patreon for the first time. And, and uh, or he realized that you were about to achieve something or be at a level where, yeah, you're probably just going to have to accept Adam 22 getting right. in there. Um, yeah, basically. So I think he was under the impression at first that it was just going to be me working with Lena, possibly. That would have been then, nice for him. Yeah. <laughs> for him. I'm sure that would have been great for you. And then I was like, no, I think I am actually going to do a threesome with them. And he was upset at first, but then he was like, it's fine. I just don't want to hear about it. What's upset like in that situation, though? Like, I mean, like, like your girl. All right, this next one is really fucking disturbing. This is Lena the Plug looking terrible. Now, this clip just really creeped me out in a lot of ways, but I want you to pay attention here because it looks like Adam throws some shade at AD in this clip, and this is like a foreshadowing of the events yet to come. It's very interesting. Let's watch. Five minutes, but I was, I was talking to you for the last like half hour. I'm like, wait, she doesn't have an accent. Why did we both think that she had an accent? <laughs> I might have did one in one of my scenes. Uh. They ask you to do weird shit sometimes. So you know AD's jealous that we're hooking up with her, right? Don't say that. Because she was his video girl. I know, but you can't say that on my life. Well, lawn. I don't think he's really jealous, but I'm trying to create this narrative. You're such a bad person. No, I'm a good podcast. You're like... I'm a content creator. You're the devil. I can create a storyline where there would otherwise be none. You use your powers for evil. React to this on Twitch, buddy. <laughs> Ooh, so obvious shade being thrown. Adam really hated AD and didn't like that he was doing the Twitch streams on the side. What a scumbag. Anyways, let's watch uh, Lena the Plug being a complete psychopath, allegedly, for a few minutes here. This is her going and getting plastic surgeries. She tells us all about the surgeries she's had in the past. Let's watch. All right, plug talk is done. So we're still looking good. My lips need a touch up. But besides that, we're good. I have no clue what's going on in my face. I'm gonna take an allergy pill and see if it goes down. It's really annoying, you know? I, I see through the thirst, guys. I see through it and I'm not about it. Okay, now that that's over and I'm gonna stop being crazy. I, hi guys. I'm doing something a little bit different today. I will just be straight up honest. I've had I've had a nose job before. I get, I've been getting Botox in my forehead since I was 22. I'm 27 now. I've had a breast augmentation. I have to get another one. Got my lips done once. They went away. I'm never doing it again. I didn't like it. I've done. I've gotten like cheek fillers before. I know what you're thinking. This is numbing cream. I can't wait to get these under eye fillers. They've been bothering me so much. You know what? We'll do cheek filler first. Look at this Cheeks unibrow. First. You know, why doesn't she get some laser hair removal since she's getting all this plastic surgery done on her face, you know? I am supposed to take aspirin every day, too. Do you? Baby aspirin. For what? I have thick blood and I could get blood clots if oh, I don't. Really? But that's why these pinpoints are still like doing that because your yeah. blood's. I guess this is the end of the vlog. Uh. 
thanks love you guys have a good day on purpose tomorrow when you see this vlog I'm getting sleepy you guys see what I'm saying about this psychopathic behavior? I mean, she doesn't seem like she's stable in the head. She should be evaluated. I'm not even kidding, but that's going to do it for the video. We'll see you on the next one.